God, it is here. Look what we found. This is what we came for, guys. Hey everybody, Eric from Locker Lunatics. Uh, I had to bring the big beast today. We had to come into central Indiana about almost two hours from our house. We got a unit that nobody has been in since 2004. There's Star Wars, there's G.I. Joe. Uh, let's take a walk and see what's in there. I haven't even opened the door yet, so this one's kind of exciting. Um, now we did pay a lot of money for this unit. <laughs> I'll say that right away, because some of the stuff that's in there, if it's in there, it's good. If it's not, we'll walk. Now, once again, he said this unit won't open. That's how long it's been closed. There we go. All right, are you ready? Wow, look at the dust. This is what you like to see, guys. You got the dust, you got the dirt. Wow, we got Star Wars. We got Star Wars figures. We've got a gigantic G.I. Joe whale in the box hopefully hopefully we don't even know if it's in there did i buy just a box this unit did cost us a whopping thirteen hundred dollars and seventy dollars and then uh yeah we can let's take this we'll do a quick glance and then we'll start digging a little bit this is a dirty one folks i see comics we got comics more action figures Ooh, more comics in the back some really large purgatory figures that's a good sign uh and some clothes and some junk but okay, let's uh, huh, let's dig into this. Uh, now I do have my younger daughter here to help me today. Uh, Ashley could not make it; she had to work. So, if the video quality is good, tell her she did a good job. If it's not, well, you know what to do. But now these start; these are all Star Wars figures. Now a lot of these, like see that clone trooper right there, that's probably a thirty to forty dollar figure. Some of these will be ten dollar figures, and some of them will be more. But we've got lots of. Uh, Lots of Star Wars figures here, that's for darn sure. And that is always a good sign. I really want to get to that whale box, but we're gonna wait a minute on that one. I'm wanting to know as bad as you. Is it in there? Is it sealed contents maybe? That would be nice. But it would really be nice if it was just in there. Now we probably will pause this video from time to time to load stuff in the in the U-Haul trailer. I did bring boxes to try to take care of this stuff a little better than normal. Boy, look how long that's been in there, guys. Look how long. It's just falling apart. These are some dusty dirties, but look at that, man. We got some good figures. That's a good figure right there. You'll know what the prices are before me. When my daughter, my older daughter, edits, she will definitely be putting prices on screen for you. So, boy, if you like all this kind of stuff, please put it in the comments, man. Like it. Share it. Hit that little bell so you know when we get another unit. Now see, like, look at here. We've got a receipt in this one. He was given six dollars and thirty-three cents. Oh, that's kind of cool. Never seen that one. Back yeah. way back in uh, 2002. There's another one, but look at it. Can't, <laughs> there's the handles. Can't even pick them up, guys. That is how bad they are. These bags are shot. Woo, that's a cool one. You know, some of these clone troopers are big money, too. There could be $80 and $100 figures in here. I am glad that he likes the clone troopers. All right, let's see. We've got a couple more, and then we'll probably take a small pause so we can load this up. Oh, see, these are the ones with the figures in the back. I always liked those. A little bit of damage on that box. But, you know, Boba Fett, he's desirable. Lots and lots of troopers. Troopers are always good. All right, well, we're gonna break for a second. All right, guys, so we got the Star Wars figures put away. That's one little thing. We got one box of Star Wars figures, but underneath here, we're trying to figure out what's underneath it exactly. And uh, we do see a bunch of stuff with some dusty, dusty stuff. But there was a some kind of a display with the Imaginex type figures, or the, uh, I think they're called Galactic Heroes. So if I can find who's missing and complete that, that'll be a pretty cool little display. I'm gonna set that one to the side. Where I was trying to get to is right here. Those are Star Wars, little watches from like uh, Burger King, I think. We have all these posters, and they appear to be Lady Death, but this one here, check this out, guys, it's framed. That's a big framed Lady, Lady Death piece. This is all, and it's vinyl. This is a Lady Death piece. Um, looks like we got lots of posters. Uh, we will probably, I don't want to get all the posters dirty because my hands are pretty gross, but like, it, it, this looks like to be all Lady Death themed posters. Now, how cool is that? 
So we got that. We're gonna look underneath this one real quick. Well, that wind's blowing. And once again, guys, this is a dusty unit. Here, unpan over here. Look at this. Come into this box. Look at this box. Now this looks like crappy VHS Jeez, tabs, spiders. but look how bad that is. I mean, we got spiders, we got dust. This one's been here since 2004, I think he said, or two, 2002 maybe. I'm thinking this is probably all Lady Death related type stuff and, and similar. We've got That's lots of, cool. look at all these prints. I mean, and, you know, it's like I said, I don't really want to touch these a lot with my hands today. There's lots oh, of calendar. There's books, Lady Death calendars. Uh, I thought maybe these were cardboard cutouts. Look at that big old, oh, look at that. Can you get up underneath there? Lady Death. All, I mean, this is just all going to be Lady Death oriented stuff. Now, Lady Death, ooh, look, there, I've got this one actually at home. I paid $50 for that one myself. So there might be some good money there. And like I said, we paid $1,370 plus fees with bringing the Hummer over here at eight miles to the gallon and gas at $5 a gallon. Thanks, Joe Biden. Um, it costs a lot. So uh, we gotta make a lot back. Let's do a little bit of digging here. We'll dig up here in the front a little bit. Um, boy, look at that, oh, look at that. We got some, uh, some candle holders. It looks like a lava lamp. Maybe some personal pictures, which we'll get those back up to the office for the gentleman. And uh, here, swing around this way. We're gonna take a look over here. Now this box down here definitely looks like old VHS tapes, but we have these. And what are, oh, they are heavy. Oh, we don't wanna see his name. These, I bet these are some kind of cards. What do you bet? Looky there, we've got Ooh. cards. Is that magic? These are magic cards, magic guy. Cards. Magic, oh, oh, it's magic, magic. Look at all the magic cards, guys. We've got, oh, they're awful. Oh, they're awful. Oh, they're awful. Not awful, awful. Boom, magic. That is a winner, winner and a chicken dinner we might make our money back yet well i take that back we might make a hell of a profit yet we'll have to blur out there in his name there and uh this looks like all hand uh recorded stuff let's hope it's not like you know the bad movies nope pink floyd so doesn't look like it's all a bunch of bad stuff okay let's go right here this box right here here we go we got a pillow look at that Ew. hey Carded action spawn spawn spawn. Let's see this guy here. Oh, oh, look at him Spawn We've got spawn and we've got spawn mm -hmm. I mean the spawn right now. Oh, well, that's Ariella. You know, we got a little bit of spawn spawn more spawn. No look These are the good spawns though. Look at that Those are these are 20 30 dollar figures all day long nice ones like that. Oh look at him Wow, once again, my daughter, when she edits, will be putting this on the screen, how much this is. I'm estimating this probably to a $40 to $60 piece at least. Um, actually finding the spawn, all the other characters are kind of cheap, but when you find him, it seems to go for a little bit more. That's a $5 figure, that's just one of those you don't want to see. But there's plenty in here that are good, so, uh, oh, look at that beast. Mm -hmm. All right, so, yeah, but like I said, you will get to see a lot of these prices way before me, so that is awesome. Do we do the whale? Here, go on back a little bit, hon, so you can get me good here. Check this out, are you ready for the whale? Let's do the, not yet, let's do something else. We're saving that, and believe me, it's killing me. Is it in there? God only knows. All right, let's go, let's see what we got here. Okay, we have some old dirty clothes. Every unit's gotta have old dirty clothes. Ooh, a one. TV. Yeah, a boat anchor of a TV, yay. Yay. Oh, oh, guys, look at this. Super Nintendo. Oh. These are running right around 100 bucks if they work right now. That's a good piece. Got a TV. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ooh. That's when TVs were TVs. And we got a computer monitor that we won't be able to get rid of. Some fans. Oh, 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 what do we got here? Original PlayStation. That's a couple dollars. Let's hope we find all the games. Games are going through the roof right now. All right, let's see what we got over here. We got, uh, that looks like material. We got, oh, no. we got material. This kind of looks like his hodgepodge stuff. We got little uh, concrete anchors, paperwork, envelopes. Are the Doc Martens still in there? They are, they're a little moldy, but you know, 
They look brand new though. Throw those in the washer inside of a pillowcase, clean them up, boom, you're back in business. That's probably an $80 to $100 pair of Doc Martens. What else we got in here? Looks like some computer stuff, computer keyboards. Nothing that great in there. Let's move along. Let's go this way. Let's see what can we get. Oh, this looks like some paper. Huh? More Lady Death oh. type stuff. That's uh, got a few albums here. Maybe we'll find something good. Some Sting. Ooh, an old record. We got a Magnavox turntable. That's going to be a couple dollars. What kind of stereo we got here? Sometimes these old stereos are big money. And this is a Magnavox. So it probably actually is the one that went with this. I'm not going to say nothing, but I'm seeing something I'm liking down here. This is all packaged Star Wars stuff. So, all right, all right, let's check this little box. We'll go little by little here. Uh-oh, I know what these are. Playboy, not that I've ever looked at them, but they're Playboys. And it seems to be a whole box of books and Playboys. Oh, shit, there's mice in here. This unit's full of mice. Okay, yeah, that's a box of uh, Playboys. So let's move on along. Let's go right here. What do we got? Looks like, uh, oh, hey, look. Oh, boy. Look at that, guys. This is all the loose McFarlane Spawn figures. Wow. And a creepy half baby. Well, look at this. We got some big figures in here, too. These are the good ones. These guys are, you know, with their weapons, eight to ten bucks a piece all day long. Uh, if you get the right ones, worth a lot more. Now, there's a cool little setup. She's got a horse. So, all right, we got spawn figures. I really want to get right back here. So let's see what we got going on here. Oh, look at that. Once again, I'm not using no bags from this unit. This, oh, look at there. I do believe these are called hero clicks. And these are always money. These are always money. Yep, 2,000 Wizard Kings, those are that. We've got, uh, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. Check that out. Ooh, Ooh. that would be a Lady Death, probably uh, envelope opener. Whoever owned this unit really yep. liked Lady Death. There's going to be lots of cool stuff in here. Oh my goodness, and that's heavy, 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 heavy. Let's put it up here. Oh, shit. Put it up here real quick. All right, what we got down here? We got blueprints for the waste treatment plant. Those are kind of actually kind of cool. We've got comics and mad and movie type stuff. We've got... Ooh, please tell me those are hand actual prints. Look at that. There's a bunch of these here from 2001. So if those are originals, and boy, they look to be. Those look to possibly be originals. Now, it, it, it's printed on there, but maybe. I'll do some research on these. We got a whole stack of these guys. That could be some big money. That could be some real nice money. So this seems to be, ooh, bunches and bunches of cool artwork evil ernie i've got some of these action figures at the house i mean and if any of this is original or prints you're talking some good money and you know we will be doing a recap and going through this we're a little pressed for time we're in central indiana right now and we've got another one to pick up some stuff anyway on the way home and they close at four o'clock and we're running out of time let's see what we got in here look at this all lady death and purgatory stuff and gosh if those are hand drawn guys that one looks hand drawn hand signed does it not look at that that could be some serious money unit uh we got some cooling fans and some computer stuff and voila more star wars now these star wars you know these aren't very much money about 15 bucks a piece i mean you know, you're talking 30 60 90 over 100 dollars in that little tote right there and uh boy on this one every dollar is going to count and we still haven't went through like uh we got knickknacks we got is that a gerber oh it's a leatherman you know there's a there's a 20 dollar piece i mean we don't know what knickknacks we'll have in here if we'll find some money or some chain lots of keys this guy actually has some really cool stuff no telling what he'll have and once again we will do a recap let's hit right here to these comic boxes let's see if they're actually comics or just like good housekeeping magazines Boom, look at that. We do have comics. They are all comics. I said, well, no, we got a few magazines, but they're all oriented. Oh, more. More of these guys. Now, I know these guys, some of these are worth like 40, 50 bucks a piece. But normally I put them in big lots and they will sell. Is that all, all this is? Oh, can you see down in that bag? Look at that. That is what we're talking about. 
There's another bag and another bag. These, let's see what we got here. Okay, these are just card backs for your uh, comics, which those are always good to have. But as we're looking in here, one of my favorite, Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> well, so we got Beavis and Butthead, and we've got just a little bit of everybody and everything. Uh, double impacts. Um, you know, and we'll go through these and see what's in there. I'm not seeing nothing that like screams out million dollar comics in any of these boxes. But these comics, you know, they, you'll, you'll pick out, I'll pick out the really good ones. And then the rest of them, yeah, you can always count on at least a buck a piece for a comic. Oh, oh, hey, look at there. There we go. This is full. This one's nice. This is how it's supposed to look. And we've got Catwoman. So we got DC. The cousin. Don't know that one. I'm not good on comics. I know some of the superheroes. Glory. You know, some of those can be obscure and expensive. But yeah, a lot of these look like kind of like the Lady Death theme type stuff. Not really. And once again, you know, I don't know. I don't know my comics. There could be some amazing stuff that I'm pulling out here, and I just don't know what they are. So, all right, so we got comics. That's good. We got more Star Wars figures. Absolutely, right here. Let's hope for more troopers, because those are the good ones. Oh, a trooper. Now let's cover these comics real quick, because it is a dirty unit. That I do have to say. Veda. Okay, that's Power of the Force. Those aren't that great. More troopers. More troopers. Your troopers are going to run anywhere from $20 to $50 a piece. Well, maybe not this guy, but any of your clone style troopers, those are the ones you really want to look for. If you're, look, if you're looking for newer Star Wars, that's what you want to find. Another, another Saga ones, they aren't normally that great, but, you know, all, all in all, man, we got quite a few figures here. And that adds up real well. We got an AT, -AT driver, snow driver, or a snow trooper. Some of these are pretty good. That's another one. Agent Cody's a really good one to find. We got another Bulba Fett. So I would say the dead minimum of any of what I've pulled out of these boxes is $10 and up. Okay, so on that note, right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn off for a second. We're going to load some of this in boxes nice and neat, and then we'll start again. Yeah, okay. back. Can I see it real quick? He messed it up. I wanted to flip that camera around so you could see my daughter. She's quite no. the cutie. I am not the cutie. But I, I, apparently I messed it up. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and these are more yearbooks. Uh, 1989. Here we go. L huge Lady Death statue. Now these statues are like three, dollars $400. But so far we haven't been having very good luck. Please be the... It is not in the box. No. Why? <laughs> Empty boxes. I hope those figures are here somewhere. All right. Oh, boy, that sucks. There's a lot of, a lot of clothes over here. Maybe they're wrapped in clothes, though. We'll, we'll, maybe we'll get lucky. Let me move some of this stuff here out of the way. No more kitchen stuff. No more kitchen. No more kitchen. Oh, boy. What do we got? Doesn't look like very, like, toys. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. oh guys, looky here. What do we got? An original Star Wars lunchbox. No thermos. A little rough. It's a few bucks still. Uh, Braveheart magazine. We've got loose Lady Death and Purgatory figures. Oh my God! It is here! Look what we found! This is what we came for, guys. G.I. Joe. Oh, I just got happy. Uh, look, they got all their accessories. These guys are complete. Let me go, look, we got the car, we got the file cards. We've got... Please be another layer. Another layer. Complete and almost complete figures. What's in the bottom? Okay, that's a Star Wars one. Boy, why wasn't it full? And another Star Wars tray. I'm telling you right here, right now, these figures are probably going to be about 50 bucks a piece or more. They are complete with their file card. Boy, if we can find some more of that, man, that's what you're talking about. Seems like some Playboy. Well, he had a lot of posters, not going to lie. Uh, Evil Ernie stuff. There's another box in the bottom. Could we be so lucky? Could it be Star Wars? We have a Star Wars lunch pad. All right, so we're going to dig a little bit. Oh, boy, he's had a rough lie. Rough lie head at. Where's my head at? Let's look at this box. Don't look away, look away. Okay, what do we got in here? Oh, these look like more uh, hero clicks. They are. This whole box is hero clicks. Look in there. That is some, I bet you I have over a thousand dollars in hero clicks so far. 
So we will be making our money on, oh, I see a Darth Vader case. I see a Darth Vader case. I see a Darth Vader case. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's, it's empty, but it's a Darth Vader case. So he bought this at Downtown Comics for $20. 20 years ago. But wait, there's more stuff in here. There could be more. Here's another. I've never seen this. Oh my, is this vintage? This surely is not vintage. No, okay. Whew. I was gonna say, I've never seen that one. Little playset case. I know that one's worth a few bucks. I've seen it before. What else do we got? Okay, please be in here. Please be in here. Uh, it doesn't look like this it. This is heavy. It is in there, but it's not really like a awesome statue. I mean, it's okay, but it's not like one that people are going to really want. All right, let's see. Let's go back in. Let's go back in. We're doing good. We're doing good. What's in here? Something on card backs. In this bag. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Land of Oz. That's pretty. That's the coolest Dorothy I've ever seen. Her dog Toto's a little different, though. Something different about him. He must have changed his hair. Let's see. What do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, it's just a spawn figure. Not a very, that's not a super desirable one. But hey, man, we are on fire in this box. Lady Death Lunchbox. I have never seen a Lady Death Lunchbox. It's heavy. It's real heavy. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got in here. He liked those. Those are on his checkbooks, too. Let's see. We got a lot of stuff in here. We got our... Now, I seen that Zippo's in there. I can feel it. Oh, boy. Come on, Eric. Be smarter than the container. I know it opens that way. There it goes. It's a, a purgatory Zippo. That's pretty cool. Now, I've seen another Zippo over there that was loose. It might be what goes to here. And then we've got some uh, things like this, Lady Death. Boy, he was a huge Lady Death fan, that's for sure. But uh, no telling what all we got in here. And we will be doing that big recap. Just the lunchbox itself is pretty damn cool. But, all right, so let's just go on this side. <sighs> I could almost have told you that was going to be something to do with Lady Death. I, it was just a hunch. Just a weird hunch that I had. We got a Braveheart movie. We're gonna dig this out because I want to see what's in this box in here. What have we got here? We this is Tool. Hey, that's good. The CDs are in there. That's good. Got a couple more comics, a couple CDs. But what do we got? Ooh, it's light. It's light. Please be Star Wars. Please be the figures that go in there. Oh no! Look, this is just smoke paraphernalia. You've always got to find the paraphernalia. We've got all of his drug stuff here. This isn't the best best box here. I mean, there could be some cool things in here, but for the most part, there's some cool pens made out of wood. There's another Zippo, lots of Zippos. I mean, there's good stuff in here, but you know, there's a lot of stuff that'll go, oh, look at there. That's what you like to see, money. Now, are these old? That's the question. 1954, all of these are silver, I guarantee it. That's his little silver collection of nickels, dimes, quarters, anything that was uh, 1964 or older. So there might be some, a lot of silver in there. Ooh, this is heavy too. Did we find coins? Did we find coins in our toy unit? Well, let's just, here, let's just do this. Let's get crazy. Look at that, guys. We've got silver dollars. We've got... A $2 bill. Is it? We got a $2 bill and a few. Uh, oh, that one. I don't even know what that one is. What is that one? Churchill. It just says Churchill. So that might just be an actual silver coin. Let's see. That's from 1965. And then these are two just regular silver dollars. So, but it's always good to find money. Money will always make you smile. Here, look and see. We got all kinds of little coins in here we'll have to look up. I don't know much about the coins, but I know there's some in here. If you can dig past the paraphernalia, there might be some good in here. Oh, I hope that's not drugs. Is it drugs? Is it drugs? Don't be drugs. No clue. I think that was firecracker wicks, actually, and gunpowder. Oh, it's good in a storage unit to store gunpowder. Huh? I think that's about it on the coins in that box. But hey, that's kind of interesting still yet. Sharpening stone. We had a case. We got you. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, now this is newer Star Wars. 12 inches aren't doing that good, but IG-88 is a good one. I know for a fact. So we do have some good. This, these are all 12 inch Star Wars and 20 bucks at a minimum, at a minimum. 
and, and then some of them go up. I mean, some of these sell for like, in, oh look, these aren't just all 12 inch. We've got lots of little play sets. Uh, once again, these aren't very expensive. They really aren't. These are about 15, 20 bucks a pop. But I mean, this is Star Wars and that's what we were hoping for. Seeing if we got anything here. We got a Princess Leia, Obi-Wan, Darth Maul. That's a good one. We got, I've never seen that one. Huh, that's weird. That's an eh, okay one. Who we got? Battle droid, another battle droid. I haven't seen the battle droids. Who's this one? Oh, try not to tear these boxes up. Oh, that's the Rancor Luke. Hey, look at him. I haven't seen him ever before, too. Is that on the outside? I hope that's on the outside. All right, great box. Um, tape. Hey, if that's still good after all these years, that's good stuff. We got some pictures and some paperwork we'll have to go through. Um, ooh, that's a Star Wars backdrop. Hey, look at that. That's G.I. Joe blueprints. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. More of that, more of that. Ooh, is this an envelope? Ooh, ooh, what's in the envelope? What's in the envelope? I like envelopes. Feels thick like money. Oh no, it's a bunch of ribbons. First place ribbons and stuff. All right, that'll go back to him. That'll go back to the guy that had the unit. I know he didn't want, oh guys. Ho ho, shit balls. Shitty, shitty shit balls. What do we got here? We got more G.I. Joes. And G.I. Joe accessories. Oh, look at that. See, putting a band on it takes two seconds. I've got lots of bands at home. Look at that, guys. This is all the ones that must have broke. He didn't know what to do with them. There's bags of weapons in here. Another cocoa. Boy, that that just really makes my day. Some more file cards. We got five. Oh, we got It's a BB gun. All right, boy, that got me excited for a second. We got a nice little airsoft BB gun, looks like. Uh, pitcher, pitcher, pitcher. Okay, I'll go get that a little bit more because it's got. Yes. Oh, these are Star Wars. Okay. Now, this is Star Wars figures. These are the mail away figures. I do know that. Um, looks like down here in the bottom. Yeah, we got all figures. It looks like he's got his weapons with each and every one of them. You know, once again, this is like Power of the Force stuff. Not a lot of money, but look, he did keep them nice. He kept all but the weapons with them. So, great box. Lots of different comics. Uh, had a lot of, he liked the girl comics, didn't he? I mean, uh, who, who can blame him? But hey, Vamprella, he definitely liked all those. What we got here, we got Rolling Stones magazines. Uh, look, oh, look, look here, guys. These are older ones. These are like the old, ooh, Batman versus Hawk. These are nice. I've never seen these gigantic super ones like this. If you know anything about them, boy, let, me, let us know in the comments. Like I said, my daughter will get those looked at and get those online and show you guys what they are way before I know. All right, we got some more back here. Let me grab them out, the ones that have fallen. There we go. Is that spawn number one? Spawn number one, limited edition package. I just sold a spawn number one for $50. So I know that one's there. Okay, we got some cardboard. That's all good stuff. Star Wars G.I. Joe. Star Wars G.I. Joe. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, these have got to be magazines. Some kind of magazines. Probably Playboys, if I know him. Playboy, Playboy. But wait, you know what? There's not just Playboys in here. Oh, there's some right. spiders in there. i seen the spiders. What do we got here? It's an evil Ernie. Casket? Does it open? You would sure think it opened. It looks like it opened. Maybe. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's casted in pewter. That's a cool piece. See, it's not just Playboy's. Collectible card art, Twin Peaks. Don't know anything about that. Look that one up. But down in here, these aren't all Playboy. We got Playboy, some Pamela Anderson in there. But what do we got here? Jurassic Park. Oh, these are the watches. The Burger King watches, okay. All the Jurassic Park Burger King watches, those are good in the lot. Take a look. Did he have anything else in there with them? Yep, these are Playboys, but hey guys, there's all kinds of CDs in here. We got more cards, come on, be magic. Nope, those are uh, all Chaos and Lady Deaths. Jenny McCarthy, what the hell? Oh, that's a, like a Playboy deck, okay. That makes sense now. Jenny McCarthy, Arr. We got a lot of floppy disks and some CDs. Ooh, something's glass in there, something big, something heavy. Okay, just some random stuff. Good thing I'm having a garage sale tomorrow. All right, these look like clothes. Here we go. More Star Wars, guys. 
Hey, this bag's even holding up. Let's come over here with these. Take a peek of them right here. We've got uh, more of the same kind of Star Wars. Doesn't look like as many of the uh, troopers in this one. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one right there. That's a good one. Okay, there are some good ones in here, but uh, you know, I was hoping for more of those troopers. Those troopers are the money shots. General Grievous, he's a good one. So there are some good figures in there still. All right, so far we've been bat we've batted like three or four to zero. Another purgatory statue that would be like a four hundred dollar statue. Is it in the box? No, it's not. Oh, look how awesome that would have been. But okay, well, let's hope we got. We still have that gigantic box up there in the front that I have not opened yet. So let's hope maybe a bunch of statues are wrapped up in there. Uh, this looks like keyboard boxes and crapola. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star. Oh, Star Wars. But unfortunately, this is just all power to the force. These guys run about five or ten bucks a piece. There'll be a few of them in there that are worth more, but yep, those pretty much look like all power to the forces. It looks like it, and it is all Star Wars. Once, once again, all power. These are two packs. You know, so these are going to be fifteen to twenty dollars a piece, and then some of these, these are fifteen, twenty dollars a piece. Good little box. Everybody needs a Mr. Potato Head Darth Vader edition. And I was wondering what this was. What is it? Seems like a puzzle box. For dogs. Um, Eureka. Oh, is it dog food? Did we get a tub of dog food? No. Woohoo. What do we got? Alien alley cat. This looks nice. What is this? Oh, these are some, I think these are binoculars. A little pair of bushel binoculars. <coughs> Boy, <laughs> it's a dusty one in here. Woo. What do we got here? Oh, that's an old escort uh, radar detector. That's a nice one, guys. I mean, I know those aren't used a lot anymore, but I mean, in the box like that, that's a nice collectible piece. Oh, looky here, what do we got? We got money, we got more money. We have got the collectible quarters, the state quarters. I don't know if there's a whole lot of uh, value in just the quarters, but uh, they are mint. Another one of those. Hey, there was dog bones in there. Hmm. What's dog bones? Yeah, like, that looks like about all that's in there, though. Oh, it's an empty box for a monitor. Okay, that's garbage. Okay, so it does have stuff in here. But what? That's for a dog. I think that's a computer game. We got more paperwork. As you can see, I have not touched it yet. I want to really bad. Let's uh, let's go for this box over here instead, though. Actually, before we go in here, I did notice a briefcase. Oh, I don't think it's where he kept his twenty million dollars. Oh, it's gonna have to be broken open. But oh, there's something in there. Woohoo! Let's see here. It must have been really special to keep it in a locked box. I don't know. I'll have to get a screwdriver. I'll get a screwdriver. We'll check that one in a minute. All right, here we go. The big box. Please. Lady Death figures wrapped up nice and pretty. They'll go back in those boxes. Oh, oh no, I see Star Wars though. Guys, this is good. Oh, it, oh, more Lady Death. Whoa. More Whoa. Lady Death. Whoa. More Lady Death. Can you say good day, sir? Good day, sir. And look, oh my goodness. We got figurines and statues and Star Wars and figurines and statues, big Lady Death statues. Star Wars all the way down. Lady Death, Lady Death, Lady Death, Lady Death. Look at these big figurines too, wow. Man, I know Lady Death comes and goes in, in popularity, but I mean, these have got to be some cash. Let's see, is this a, all Probably figurines? A Oh, more than that, probably in this box right here. Um, there are some things that are kind of blah, blah, blah. Uh, some of the cheaper Star Wars stuff. But, I mean, all in all, this is a great tote. This is a great tote. We got some good stuff in here. Oh, oh, oh no, no, I'm seeing something. I just caught something out of the corner of my eye. If this is vintage, this is a good day. Look at that. Carded Storm Shadow. Good condition. This is several hundred dollars, probably. I'm not Woo! sure, but let's see. Is there any more of this stuff in there? That would be amazing. Amazing. 
I can't, and see that was thrown like in the side like he didn't even care about it. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, that was actually literally slid down in the side of the box. That piece could have so easily just got crushed. That's a piece right there that, look how beautiful that is. There's no veinage. That's a nice piece. 1988. That's gold right there. That is golden. That might be the best piece we found in the unit so far. That makes me happy. And who knows? Maybe there's something else in the bottom of this box. Because, I mean, that one, like I said, he was just laying there on the side, just chilling. Just chilling. Now it's got me wondering. Because he was just chilling. I don't see anything else down in there hanging out. If we find it, you guys will be sure to know. Okay, guys, that box was amazing. That's amazing. Let's get over here. Now, we've already seen this. This was the action figures. We're down to the whale, guys. This is a... This G.I. Joe unit, Star, a Star Wars unit, has been a whale of a unit. Here we go. The box looks nice. Is it the whale? Be sealed with content. Sealed. Oh, no. But, oh, yay. I don't see a whale, but I do see vintage Star Wars figures. And is this more G.I. Joe's? Oh, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Okay, that's nothing. Look down in here. I'm seeing vintage Star Wars. I'm seeing vintage Joe figures. Oh yeah, look at that, that's all G.I. Joe parts. He's got the screws, the pieces, the parts. I've got all the O-rings at home to put these together. Okay, so well, it's not a whale, but on a lighter note, I have a whale at my house. Now we want to see what's in this box, don't we? I know I do. Sure. Oh, look at how, he, he had a dog. Yep, this guy had a dog. Look, we got Beetlejuice, all right. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I see, I don't know. We've got Farm Boy Luke. Boy, he's rough. He looks like he was buried and forgot about. There's this little C-3PO. Bag of dinosaurs. Oh, there's Obi-Wan. Sure would like to find some accessories for these guys. We're just now starting. There we go, we've got a a little tauntaun, not an open belly. And there's a stormy. All right, there we go. That's good money right there, guys. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. There's some of the G.I. Joe parts. Uh, there's a very, very rough R2-D2. So he definitely played with this stuff. Come on, where's an open belly? Hey, look, guys, we got an open belly tauntaun where Luke will just chill out in there for a while. We got more G.I. Joe instructions in there. We got G.I. Joe cannons in there. I've seen the blueprints for this one somewhere. Okay. Lots more instructions. Hey, there's a hiss tank. That's a good little piece right there. There's a Cobra hiss tank. Oh, guys, I found something that's nice. I found something nice. It's in my hand. It's in my hand. He's dirty, but that's the trash monster from the Death Star place. That, that right there is $60 to $80 by itself. So there is money in here. Let's see if we got any other little gems. Any other little gems? I'm not seeing no weapons. I was hoping for weapons. There's parts and pieces, but it all seems to be Joe related. A couple more Beetlejuice pieces. Oh, so that's a nice whale box. And I do have a whale. So, all right, we got something. Lady Death statue. We have something wrapped up. He cared about it. Is it Lady Death? Oh, guys, it's not Lady Death. What did I find? It's the whale! We have the whale. I'm seeing veins, I'm seeing fins, I'm seeing, I'm seeing pretty much everything that's supposed to be here, guys. Everything that's supposed to be here. We'll call that luck. We will call that luck. I got at least a damn near complete whale. There's the sled from underneath. So I've got almost a complete whale and the box. And I bet you the instructions are probably in there somewhere. Holy cow. Well, unless I find something moving like that old ugly futon, that's a basically a wrap on this unit. We're going to get it loaded up, get it in the car, get everything cleaned up, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, we're going to try and bust this open. We've got everything cleaned out, everything loaded. Let's see if you had anything in the box. If we can get into it. Boy, it's tight. I don't know. One. Dusty. <coughs> Two. Oh, look at there. Looks like uh, some marijuana seeds. 
<laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Uh, some envelopes. Probably more seeds. We got another one hitter. Um, some cards. This looks like probably a baggie of something. Is it drugs? More seeds. It's just more seeds. He had a bunch of seeds. This was his seed collection. <coughs> That'll go in the dumps. And then we found this box that I never opened. Still hoping them Star Wars figures, but nope, these are all. Now are they all the same? All the same. Lady Death. Chaos pictures. Whole box of them. All right. Well, as you can see, the unit's clean. That's a wrap. We're heading home. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit that little bell to get more notifications when we do another one of these things. Thank you so much for watching, all you little loonies out there. Till next time.